Are you wondering which TV mount might be best for you? I'm sure you are. And with many years experience using all the different brands, I'm going to go over my favorite and most used TV mounts on Amazon and even from Costco. Let's get into it. What's up, I'm B the Installer, and this video is long overdue. I use a ton of TV mounts and I get asked all the time which TV mounts are best to use for this TV and that TV and for specific installs. So I'm going to go over all of the TV mounts that I mostly use from Amazon and then at the end I'm going to give you a couple at Costco and even a very unique product, the mantle mount, and I'm going to tell you if it's something you should even consider. So learn, stick around, and get that advice at the end for the mantle mount. But before we get into it, please smash the like button. You can like the video now or when you surely go down there to check out some of the links, like it then. But when you're down there, subscribe and set the notification bell to all so you're notified when I upload a new video. It's about to get crazy with some awesome TV reviews and giant TV installs. So TV mounts have changed quite a bit over the years to accommodate the thinner and lighter OLEDs and QLED TVs. 10 years ago, TV mounts were built for hulking around like the giant Sony Bravia and the Panasonic plasmas. So they had like a 250 pound rating and many were super expensive. And in addition to the size and weight of the TVs, the VESA pattern of your TV is very important and has changed over the years to become much more standard. The VESA pattern is the bolt pattern on the back of the TV for the mount to attach to. The first number is the width from left to right. The second number is the height of the pattern from top to bottom holes. So since TVs are lighter and because the VESA patterns are now more uniform, the mount manufacturers have been able to shrink down the TV mounts to be efficient and much lower priced. And now it's a game of finding a strong and quality TV mount from the many lower priced options. So once you have the size, the VESA pattern, and understanding that now you can get a low price mount, you need to decide what kind of mount do you need? What do you need to do? Do you need the TV just to sit flat against the wall or sit flat and tilt down because it might be mounted higher on the wall? Or what about turning? Do you need to turn a little bit? Do you need to turn a lot? Do you need to turn 90 degrees to the left or right? Maybe you even like to lower the TV like four feet over your fireplace. So these are all questions you should answer before you buy a TV mount. And with all these mounts comes different size bolts for the holes in the back of the TV, bolts for the walls, washers, spacers, etc. And you wanna use the bolts and washers and if needed some of those spacers on the VESA holes to achieve a hand tightened fit. And if you can't get that, the local hardware store should have more spacers, washers, and longer bolts for you to buy or replace if something's lost. So just remember that. So first let's go over some of the Amazon mounts based on this info. And we'll start with your basic flat mount. Now you can get a super flush static one half inch thin mount but I don't even really worry about that because most people will have a power outlet behind the TV or HDMI connections, sometimes even stuffing lights or game systems behind the TV. So a little space can actually be helpful. But even if you want that flush look, I have a mount that is as flat as any flush mount that I would want and still can tilt down if needed. And that's a super basic and low price Pearlsmith mount. So it says 32 to 55 inch size, but really it can even get 65 inch TVs because it maxes out at the 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter VESA pattern. So anything that has that pattern or smaller and is under 115 pounds will fit on this Pearlsmith mount. And the upside to this mount is how easy it is to use and the fact that it's only 20 bucks. So you literally just screw the two brackets into the TV with the many size bolts and screws to offer inside the packaging and then just slap the 16 inch plate up on the wall with the provided lag bolts and set the TV on top of the wall plate. It even has safety mechanisms to lock it in place and pull tabs to take those off later when needed. So for pretty much anything that's 55 or 65 inch or smaller that you want a nice flat look on the wall, fantastic mount. Don't ask me why it comes in different colors, but no big deal. The only downside is that it, the mount is exactly 16 inches long. So if you have studs that don't perfectly align in that distance, or you just wanna have it centered differently, you may only hit one stud, which is doable, and you can hit one stud in the middle and use toggle bolts in the top left and right, but some TVs that are very heavy with that 400 millimeter pattern then can stress out the ends if you only have a stud in the middle. But for the most part, this mount is fantastic. It allows your TV to be super tight to the wall and still tilt down. Simple, flat, 20 bucks. But if you want a mount with a bit more space behind it or for larger TVs, I also recommend this Everstone adjustable tilting mount. The Everstone mount 
can handle pretty much all sizes from 32 up to 86 inches that have 600 millimeter by 400 millimeter VESA pattern or less and are under 165 pounds. And while it can tilt down and it also has those clips, it sticks out about two inches, which isn't a big deal for tilt mounts. It's pretty normal, but it does have two distinct advantages over the Pearlsmith mount. This Everstone mount has an extra piece to extend the bracket 24 inches wide. So it's great to add that piece in order to span two studs on the wall and for the larger TVs that have that wider pattern. This is necessary for some of the 75 and 85 inch TVs. Again, check the specs of your TV. It's pretty easy to find the VESA pattern. And you have to screw the two pieces together as they don't come assembled beforehand. And this is to save space. And I believe there's actually a separate custom fee if you import finished products versus unassembled products. So maybe it's for both reasons that they come separated. But many mounts come like this in two or more pieces. So it's not really that big a deal but they don't always align perfectly. So you might be in a situation where the TV needs adjustment. And guess what? This mount actually comes with screws on top of each bracket. So once you mount it, and because you're not be the installer and it's a little off level, you can actually turn the screw on the lower side clockwise to raise it up or you can screw the higher side counterclockwise and it'll lower that side down. And I'm just kidding about your install skills because I use these all the time. Shh, don't tell anybody. But of course, it's a clear advantage to have micro adjustability on the TV mount because most people will second guess if their TV is level or not. But the best part about this is only $22, so you can't really beat that. Well, I guess you can because the other one was 20, but 20, $22, both fantastic because they both have competition in the stores that are like $100 or more. So for a flat mount, make sure to check out these two mounts below. Now, if you prefer to have the TV extend out, there are also many good options for that too. Finding a good arm or articulating or full motion TV mount really depends on the size of your TV and how much you wanna extend or turn it and where you're gonna mount it. So if it's a smaller TV and you don't really care where the TV is centered on the wall, a small arm mount like the Pearlsmith single arm mount is a very popular mount for this type of install and it works just like it sounds, single arm mount. Up to 400 by 400 millimeters, and again, the weight is important because it says 26 to 55 inch, up to 88 pounds. And what is great about it is that it can be as flat as two inches, and the arm extends out over 19 inches out. So you can get a lot of turn on a small or a large TV. These work great in kids' rooms to allow you to angle the TV left or right or pull them out, or you can put them in the corner of a room and get a nice 45 degree angle. Very solid mounts. The downside is that if you have to center your TV in a specific area and you buy this without understanding how it works, you can get it on the TV and then realize that where the mount actually needs to go on the wall is on the drywall between studs and the TV won't end up where you want it centered and that's just a fail. So make sure you have a plan when mounting your TV. I even got into a bit of a pickle because I had the four TV mounts up on the wall and it wasn't so easy to manipulate them around each other on a single arm like this. So if you're looking to get a single small TV up, 55 inch or less, and the exact placement isn't super important, but you wanna turn here and there, this Pearl Smith mount for like $25 is normally the one that I get for that kind of application. And basically it's the exact same thing that Sanus makes for $90. But when it's a bit more complicated and I have to center the TV in an area and I need some flexibility on that location, then it's best to get some sort of full motion mount that has a wall plate that will span at least 16 inches on the wall so that you can hit one or two studs with room for error. The Mounting Dream MD2380 full motion mount is one of my most used mounts because of its versatility and sizes for, again, 32 to 55 inch size, but it really works for anything 65 and below because it has that max weight of 99 pounds. So 400 millimeters or smaller, under 100 pounds, good to go. And there are a bunch of benefits to this mount, but the main point that I was speaking about is that you can move it left or right to center on one stud in the middle, or you can hit studs on both sides. And the Mounting Dream 2380 is relatively flat for an arm mount with about three inches from the wall when it's pushed flat and it comes out to about 15 inches. And the 2380 is a dual arm TV mount, so it's strong. And that same dual arm and the fact that it only comes out 15 inches, then means it can't turn like 90 degrees each way because your TV will hit the wall before it can achieve that rotation. But most people are happy having it turn about 45 degrees each way, give or take. So because of the adjustability and the strong arms and the size, it's a pretty good mount that comes in at only about $40. And that's really good for this quality. Many store mounts with similar abilities are well over $100. And while I'm thinking about it, 
I can pretty confidently recommend most of the Mounting Dream TV mounts. I've used pretty much all of these and they make rather good products. They have a lot of good graphs and info on what mounts are good for what TVs. So make sure to click down on the Mounting Dream page below and check out their products. And if you're gonna get a really big TV and you're trying to buy a cheaper mount, I would probably just go for that flat Everstone mount. Because if you get an arm style mount that's larger, it's not just about holding the weight. Now you also have to worry about the fluidity of that movement and making sure that you can move it around without banging it into the wall. And since a lot of these mount companies have made these mounts smaller, it can be a bit stiff when you're moving a massive TV around on a $50 mount. But if I was gonna pick one of the larger mounts off of Amazon, I'd either go with the Mounting Dream brand or even this Echo Gear arm mount. Both are pretty solid for larger TVs and both can be gotten online pretty easily. So check the links below, pretty straightforward and solid mounts. Now, if you're looking for a more premium option, I have used some of the mounts at Costco that I find very useful. Both of the mounts that I'm gonna recommend are by Sanus and are for your typical 40 inch TV up and above 75 inches. The flatter Sanus mount is the tilt and extend TV mount. And I like this mount and really any of those mounts that have the little shorter arms that can both sit flat against the wall, but then still turn 30 degrees left or right. This comes in very handy for medium and large TVs when you wanna just get behind them for HDMI ports, or if you wanna just turn them left and right a little bit to view from an angle. I've also made a video on how to install this mount, so you can definitely check it out and get the play-by-play -play on that in the links. And the other is one of the Sanus full motion mounts. It's the one that they have at Costco. And I've used this mount in many of my install videos. They probably should be paying me at this point. And I use it for my OLED giveaway video as well. Check that out. But really why I use this mount is because there's nothing on the market for $139 or less that is as strong as this with the reach that it has and is as fluid to turn left and right. And that last one is really important. It's pretty silky smooth. And I use this for when I'm reaching out of niche areas or for large TVs and even my own OLED TVs when I know I'm gonna turn them often. Sanus makes quality products and so they're a little bit more pricey, but when you're gonna buy multiple thousand dollar TVs, you can spend a few more bucks in amount. So check it out at your local Costco if you have Costco's in your area. And finally, I wanted to offer my opinion on the mantle mount. So the mantle mount is a TV mount that can sit up on top of a fireplace and then pull down in a fluid manner to watch at eye level. And yes, it can do this and many people like this mount. However, the mount is kind of bulky and hard to install. And when it's up over the fireplace, it can stick out as far as 10 inches at its most flush position. And so I don't make a quick recommendation on this mount all the time because of these reasons. But I will say that if lowering the TV is 100% necessary for you, and even with the sound bar attached, because they'll accommodate that, then the mantle mount is a very unique product and has served many of my clients well. Just kind of a pain in the butt to install. Well, I hope this video has helped. Please smash the like button on your way out so more people can see this video. Make sure to check the links out below. I'll link all the mounts that I would use and info on each of those. And feel free to ask me any questions or make any comments below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload the next video. And literally just like that, you can be the installer.